What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about building out a user onboarding progress bar so you can encourage new users to check out features on your site and actually complete a few tasks to get them to do that. Um, so this is something you'll see on the GoRails dashboard actually. If you go sign into your account, you'll see that on the right side. It says account progress down here and uh, there's four steps. One, to your watch list a video, complete an episode, um, and post a question and try and solve someone else's question on the forums. And they kind of get progressively harder to complete as you go. And that's kind of a good way for me to teach you, you know, you subscribe for the videos, but the community forum and asking questions and getting answers there might actually be more valuable to some people than the videos themselves. So I want to make sure people are aware of that and go and check it out. So this is a great way to get people to do those things. We're going to go build that out in this episode and we're going to use the bootstrap progress functionality, functionality to go build that progress bar out. We will have some way of checking in our database on your user whether or not you've completed these items. And one great way about this is you can make it flexible using like Active Record Store, which we've talked about in the past. You can have um, a JSON column effectively or a, you know, a serialized column. That will allow you to add and remove items from there across all of your users and just check and see whether or not they've completed one of these items. That's a great way of caching all of this as well. But we can also do it very simply if you don't want to go that far and just make these database queries. So that's the way that GoRails has it set up. I just have four database queries that only run on your dashboard. I don't display this on every page and this only shows up here so it's not a big deal and each one of these runs in about one millisecond so it's extremely fast to add these um, and so that's it. So I've created a Rails application using the jumpstart template and let's create a couple models.